Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to generate the 3D models by just using a piece of the picture and the AI will generate any of the selected parts as a 3D model and finally you import it into your Icron 8 and also your CC5 and how to make this and just within a few seconds I'm going to show you all this step by step in this tutorial let's go all right everything will just start from a piece of picture and the item that I want is this one so we are going to use the AI to generate this 3d model from this piece of the picture and the first step what you need is just go to my video descriptions and enter one of the link just for example the first one I'm going to show you the first one and actually the second one is the, sh the shortcut but you can just un enter from the first one Control c to copy and then go to your browser just place it at there the internet browser then click introduction to meta sum 3d just click try the background try the playground then click try it accept so at here, what you need is create a 3D scene, click here. What about the second link that given by me? If you direct copy and paste this, and actually it is the shortcut control V to paste. Then, right, it is the same. So next is to upload the picture, click upload. Upload from my folder. This is the picture, science fiction. Right now it is uploading. And then next, just click here. Click next the first time, click next the second time, next done. So you can see it. you already added. If you click one more time, it is going to deselect it. So click to highlight it, highlight the part that you want. Click this part also, click, click until it finish highlight the whole thing that you want it to generate as the 3D model here, right. Once done already, just click generate 3D. It is going to generate here just within a few seconds, it will be done. All right, done. And then you can see it is really beautiful. It is exactly this one that you want. All right, click download. And then download as GLB as the first step. And later I'm going to show you how to import it into the icon. So click download. Wait for a few seconds, it is going to download it into your download folder. Right now it pop out this one. It asks you to just select a location to download and as demo I'm going to just download it on my desktop and I'm going to just name this as science fiction prop 01. Click save. Now it already downloaded. Click here to open the folder. It is under my desktop. If, if I double click to open, it is going to open by using the 3D viewable. But if you direct drop, drag and drop into your icon, it will fail. So we need to convert it to FBX first. You can, you can see if I di direct download the GLB file into here, it failed. So you need to have Blender. Blender is a free software. Just go and download it. Blender. So now I'm going to just start Blender. For today, the latest version is Blender 5. It's okay. No matter what type of the version it is, it's okay. Don't worry about the version. As long as it can, it can import the GLB file, click the empty area, just press A and press delete to delete everything, clear it, and then drag in the GLB file into the Blender, click import, now, 
it is already inside here just check the texture done so next we are going to export it as the fbx file so create file export as fbx file the path mode just choose copy and just highlight this and as demo i'm going to just export it on my desktop as well name this as science fiction prop 01 i click export the fbx and something that i want to remind you the fbx file that you exported is without the texture and later i'm going to show you how to export the texture as well so first just go to your icon just import the 3d model without texture first drag and drop into the icon keep original click convert all you are going to just import it without texture at the first place without texture all right now next we are going to get the texture from the blender just now you need to go to the uv editing at here you need to select the texture the image this one select from here the image and then next click the image save as save it on the desktop name this properly science fiction prop 01 all right just click save as image done now you can just find the image is actually at the location that you save just double click to open you can see this is the texture so next just back to the icon this is the icon 8 then next is just drag and drop the png texture into the prop done so now this is exactly the prop next we are going to just save as a prop in the icon just go to the custom click here under the prop folder you need to just click save then the file name science fiction prop 01 name this properly click ok now you already save it as a prop done so this prop you right click it and find the file it is actually just an iprop file right click view and view in large image so this file it belongs to you and you can share this and you can just save it into anywhere your external hard disk your usb drive or just burn in a piece of optical drive burn into a piece of dvd this is the icon prop file all right so this one we just don't put it at here because it is easier to get missing or disappear so I, i'm going to just just cut and paste onto my desktop and later i'm going to just burn into a piece of dvd so now the iprop is at here so whenever i want to use this file you just need to drag and drop into the icon or the cc5 so now in icon i'm going to just open a fresh new project and we are going to just try the file test the file the iprop drag and drop you can use it anywhere now done it is pretty cool pretty easy and we are going to test it in cc5 as well i'm going to just open the character creator 5 it should be applicable because the icon and cc5 they are together so whatever you can use in icons or the props you can use it in your cc5 as well right this is cc5 the character creator 5 so we test the file just drag and drop and have a look this is exactly the prop file right done so always remember this is the powerful of the ai the artificial intelligence at the beginning you are just using a piece of picture and actually it's an ai generate the whole 3d model for you and nowadays the quality is quite good and quite nice so no matter what type of the props that you need you can just show the ai a piece of the picture it is going to 
just generate for you and use it in any of your 3D animations, your 3D scenes, your 3D game developing project as well. And everything are really awesome and easy. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!